Welcome, this is Insights, and my guest today is Messi Johnson Okoji. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you added the Okoji. <laughs> She doesn't just say Messi Johnson. I'm like, no, 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 no. Okoji has Messi to be there. Messi Johnson Okoji. Yeah. Great to have nice. you on Insights. Thank you. So who is Messi Johnson Okoji? Messi is um, a wife. Yeah. A mother. A mother. An actress. Um, I'm a very humble person. I, above all, I'm a Christian. Mm. Um, I'm basically me, just the girl next door. Nothing mm. out of the blues, nothing different, nothing special. Mm. Just, <laughs> just me, girl next door. Me. Girl next door, yeah. just you. Yeah. So what was growing up like? Uh, growing up was tough. We got what we... We didn't get everything we wanted, but we got what we needed. You know, it was more or less like a scale of preference mm. where the most important things you need are provided for you and then things you just want out of um, extravagancy mm. you don't get, you know. Growing up was, um, it was a learning process. Mm. Um, growing up was a process that, you know, has gotten me this far to who I am today. You know, my growing up has given me mm, the strength to be strong, you know, like um, makes me endure things a whole lot better because I wasn't born with a silver spoon, you know, I'm just um, like basically an average normal kid that you can find outside these days, basically. Were you a papa's girl or a mama's girl? A dad's girl. Dad's girl. Anytime, any day. So how did that influence who you are today? Uh, my dad is an ex-military officer okay. in the Navy. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can be described as a nomadic farmer <laughs> 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 because I kept moving with him from one place to another. Mm -hmm. um, from Lagos, I moved. I, I left my mom when I was two years old mm -hmm. and I moved in with my dad in Calabar. And I, I came back again um, to Lagos for like some months and I moved in with my dad again in Port Harcourt. Okay. So it was more or less like, I'm extremely attached to him, was extremely attached to him, you know. So yeah. it, it's made me a very strong person. Um, men, are, men are kind of, um, men are very pessimistic people, I mm. think. And I took that from him, very objective, you know. Um, I'm not very picky, I'm not, usually picky the way women are mm. i i stand I, I tend to see things from a different point of view mm. that's kind of odd to my friends all the time you know i'm kind of um, very objective mm. um oddly objective let me put it that way okay, the way men too are emotional kind of yes we are brought up in a military way Yes, because I, I attended a military school too. Mm -hmm. I attended a Nigerian primary school and a Nigerian secondary school. So you have all that military training inside of you. You just don't break down usually the mm -hmm. way an average girl would, you know. Wow. Just stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, was acting a childhood dream or was something you stumbled on on the way? It, it wasn't a childhood dream because growing up, I think I always wanted to be uh, a medical doctor. And then later I said I wanted to be a lawyer. <laughs> and then I, I finished with secondary school and I, I filled my jam. <laughs> and basically I think what got to me was acting wasn't a childhood dream. Mm. When I was in secondary school, I think SS2, I saw a movie by Johnny Vivonaggi, okay. Sharon Stone. Mm, okay. And I watched that and I just told myself that's what I want to be or rather that's, that's what I want to do. Mm. And then that was how the flair started for movie making. And then coupled with the fact that I had banged my jam, <laughs> <laughs> which 60% of Nigerian students do, I said, okay, yeah. let's give acting a trial. And mm. that was it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The way you act, like I said earlier, is it's amazing. The way you fit into your roles, you know, you're like, this is who you really are. But and when the you know, the tears come rolling. I'm just wondering how do how you, how do you do it? Um, the your eyes just well up and then the, the things start flowing. It, it's very easy because basically part of my inspirations 
should be nature, people, and happenings around me. Mm -hmm. And when you get a script, and most of the scripts I get are stories you're told is a true happening. Mm -hmm. This happened to somebody. But I think above all, for you to be able to carry a character well, mm -hmm. you, have to be, you have to be passionate about what you do. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm extremely passionate about acting. I love what I do. So when I get there, I just really try to bring out the best. But the, mm -hmm. the crying thing is quite easy. I can cry at any time. Any time? Yeah, any time. You just think of something? Um, yes, I just think of, when I have my script, mm. I think of the fact that somebody's actually going through, like, what you're asking me to do, mm. and it, it just comes... You just identify with the character. Yeah, I just feel that, go. my God, you know, like that. <laughs> it just comes like that. Wow. Is that, <laughs> you it's won't so believe easy. this. The tears are already flowing. <laughs> and then my husband says, whenever you cry for something, I'm not going to do it because I think you're acting. <laughs> You know, it's crazy. <laughs> oh boy! So, so easy. Wh wh what what are the challenges you've had to face? You know, as an actress. Um, um, not basically as an actress only. Mm. I think as a public person, okay. you know, it's terrible because you don't have nothing is private. Mm. Like nothing is personal for you. Mm. Everything you say is like an issue. Yeah. Everything about you is a topic. Mm -hmm. You know, and. It's hard. I, I have gotten to a point where I'm used to it. Like I can, um, whether positively or negatively, how it, whichever way it comes, I'm used to it. And I just have this um, thick skin, not all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're human and you always feel bad. Mm -hmm. But at a point in time, it becomes tasking when you have to worry about people who are close to you, mm -hmm. like my husband or my daughter. And maybe anything that has to do with them is like for public notice mm -hmm. and you know, because my husband is a very shy person. Mm. So when he gets to the airport or he gets to a gathering and then people begin to like, zzz, that's, that's yeah, he gets, oh my God, <laughs> you know. So at a point as an artist, you get used to the fact, the most challenging thing should be being a public person, mm. the fact that everything about you is out there. Mm. But I think the most difficult of it all is you having to worry about those who are closest to you. You know, mostly when they don't leave, leave your line or leave your kind of, um, um, I wouldn't say leave your dream, I'd say leave your career. Mm. They're not in the limelight like you are. So it's difficult to kind of protect them. So mm. I think that's like the most tasking part of being um, a public person. Mm. And then about being an actress, I wouldn't say it's tasking because for me, I'm passionate about what I do. So everything for me is a learning process. Even when I'm home, I'm trying to get better mm. with everything. Yes. <laughs>